Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're gonna to be going over how to create a console app within Salesforce. So there's a difference between apps and console apps. So currently I'm on an app. So this is just showing us, I guess, the basic homepage. And then you have your, uh, your navigation bar up here at the top. Let's jump into a console app here. And I can show you what console apps look like. Let's go into the sales console. So it's very similar to regular apps, but there's a few key differences. So you have a little navigation bar down here at the bottom. So right here is the to-do list and right here is history. But the main thing is that you can have multiple tabs of Salesforce and Salesforce records open while you're in one browser tab. So this can cut down on a lot of browser tabs. If you're one of those people that has like a million browser tabs while you're trying to figure something out, this will help cut down on that. So here I've got two different tabs open within Salesforce. So I have a lead open for Phyllis Cotton. And then I also have Burlington Textiles open. Now, if I wanted to go in and change what I had open here, let's say I want to go to an account here. I could do all accounts and you can see the list view is right here. So then you can toggle in and out without having to change a bunch of stuff up. This can help really compact things for you. Or let's say you wanted to have like three Salesforce browser tabs open and each one was for one specific opportunity that you were working on. So let's say you had opportunity A, opportunity B, opportunity C. So what you could do in theory is you could have three browser tabs open and then have tabs nested into the Salesforce console to then be able to work on those opportunities just as your meetings came up or as calls came up or deals came through. So let's go ahead and jump into setup and we're going to go into the app manager to create a console app manager. There we go. All right, and now we're gonna create a new uh, lightning app. I'm gonna call this, let's say, Salesforce Emily console app. All right, and then I don't think it necessarily needs a description. So let's go ahead and go to next. So now this is where you're going to set if it's an app or a console app. So navigation style is going to be console navigation. Um, let's go ahead and say it's going to be uh, a setup. So let's make this a sales themed one. I mean, there's a bunch of different ones that you could do. You could do like a marketing themed one. You could do a, a service themed one, a sales themed one, uh, what have you, whatever your your scenario is you can make it a theme so i'm just gonna have this be set up because it is more of a setup type thing i'm not going to disable personalization i'm not going to clear workspace i think that's good let's go ahead and click next okay so now utility items this is going to be only on the desktop so now like how we talked about that utility bar down at the bottom where you had your history and your to-do list this is where you're going to add stuff into there so there's a bunch of different things that you could add so you could add a chatter feed if that's something that you guys are going to be working off of that's just kind of how you would um, chat with other users of Salesforce so other coworkers of yours if you wanted to look at your analytics dashboard you wanted to invoke a flow maybe for customer service you wanted to invoke a refund flow uh, you could do that from the navigation bar let's go ahead I'm going to add macros here I think that macros are really really good I'll add history as well let's see uh CTI soft phone could be could be good. That one will allow you to make phone calls. And let's go ahead and add the to-do list there. Let's go ahead. We could either do mirrored or default. I will just have this be default. But if we wanted to move this up or down, we would just click on these arrow buttons. I'm going to click next. So now this is going to be the navigation item. So this is going to be, let's go back over here the items that are in this list right there and that's what's going to be there so let's just make this super basic i'm going to add account 
Let's do leads. Oops, not double clicking. We're going to do the arrow over. And then uh, let's do opportunities. And then reports and dashboards. I think that's pretty good for it being a sales app. So each of these are going to open as either workspace tabs or sub tabs of what have you. Uh, I'm just going to leave them as workspace tabs. And then you can enter in the user profiles that you want to use this. So that can be really great for cutting down on how many items are going to show up here in this spot for your users. So let's say we had a sales user who had like 20 billion options here. That's not really going to be too great for their workflow. So let's try and cut it down so then they can focus more on the getting work part done rather than the aspect of trying to sort through things to be able to get their work done because that just causes headaches and makes people slower, what have you. I just chose system admin because that's my permissions here. You could easily add in the sales profile. So that's what I'll do is just the custom sales profile. I will say that this is a developer org that I connected off of Trailhead. And so there aren't going to be many customizations that I've made to this uh, beyond what I've done in previous tutorials. So I'm just going to click save and finish here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here. Salesforce Emily console app. Okay, so we are here. Just looking at the different items. Okay, let's go ahead and go back over to our front end of Salesforce and see if we have this available. We do. That is awesome. So we have the Salesforce Emily console app. So let's take a look at the few things that we do have. So let's actually go into an account so then we can see all of our things that we wanna see. So we do have our to-do list, our history, our macros. We don't have that call that we added. Which one was it? The, the utility items. The CTI soft phone, because I haven't enabled that in our current org. Um, so that's a good thing to keep track of and to know that, hey, if something isn't shown up, maybe you haven't set it up all the way. Let's go ahead and add in another console, go into reports here. And there we go. But that is how you create a console app. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them down below in the comments. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible, but I'm sure other people will drop down and help you. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA or check out the courses down below in the description or on Salesforce Upscale. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.